Hi everybody, Pedro with LTS. Um, when I started this channel, it was actually to talk about information. And I noticed that I've been doing a whole bunch of guns and trying to give you the most information as possible for you to purchase the right gun. Not the guns that I want you to buy, but the guns that you think will be good for you. But I also created the channel so you could have information about everything. So this week's video, it's gonna be actually about information on triggers. So the question, one question that I get asked a lot, all the time in fact, is my gun has no second shot. I shoot the first round and the second shot will not come off. And usually when you're shooting bottom barrel first, that will occur more because there is less movement on that barrel. If you shoot the bottom barrel first, the way a gun is shaped, let's get a gun here. The way a gun is shaped, okay, it is the bottom barrel, as you can see, recoils through the back of the gun. The top barrel has nowhere to go, so normally you would have a little bit of muzzle rise, therefore increasing the movement on the gun. So when shooting bottom barrel first, there's less movement, therefore the inertia block only works by the recoil. On inertia-driven guns, which is our most Italian manufacturers, they are, those are the ones that I get the most questions. I have no second shot. Why? So let's go over a trigger. I have a trigger group right here. This is a DT11 trigger. It could happen on a DT11. It could happen on any Beretta, any Cesar Green, any Parati, any Zoli. It could happen on any of these guns as it has happened to all of them that are, since I've been here. As you shoot, the recoil causes the inertia block, which is this piece right here, to move back and engage the sears. So you have two sears. Let's go right there. One sear on this side right there right here, out of the bottom, and once here on this side. As you can see, the hammers are decocked. So let's cock the hammers. And now the hammers are engaged with the sear. As you shoot, the recoil moves the inertia block back and re-engages the second shot. What could be causing your no second shot? First is a poor or soft mount, okay? As you're mounting the gun, if you have a soft mount, let me take this off here. If you have a soft mount, meaning you're not putting your weight against the gun and letting your gun bounce your shoulder back, that is a soft mount. That is causing the gun to hit your shoulder and move your shoulder back. And therefore, the inertia block doesn't have a wall to bounce back from. That could be one of the causes. We see that a lot. As soon as we teach people how to properly engage by not just being here, but by putting their, the weight of their torso against the gun, at that point, the gun has no movement. So the only way the inertia block can go is back and forward instead of having some cushion, slowing it down and then coming forward. Second way, light loads. Shooting very light loads, which are seven eighths of an ounce, 1150 feet per second, on a brand new gun that weighs eight and a half pounds, not enough force to move those that inertia block back. One, it's a brand new gun. Two, it's a heavy gun. So we don't usually see that much on hunting guns because they tend to be lighter and the loads tend to be harder. But we do see that a lot on clay guns because people want to shoot a lot. So therefore they increase the power in the load. Therefore the power in order to move the inertia block back. So first is a soft mount, soft shoulder. Second, light loads. Third, sometimes we do have to adjust the inertia block in order to reset better. Now, the mechanical trigger thing, okay? There are certain guns that you can do a true mechanical trigger, which German guns, Blaser and Kriegoff, those are mechanical. Some, some brownies are mechanicals, but for the most part, Italian guns are not mechanicals, they're inertia. So on a DT-11, for example, it is a big, heavy gun. It is eight and a half pounds, eight and three quarters. Okay, so if you have a custom stock, it can be more, so on. The point is, it is a heavy gun. Therefore, the inertia block sometimes with a lighter load doesn't have enough power to move one way or the other. At that point, we create a mechanical trigger option for it. As you can see, on the back right here, there's a little screw. We drill a hole and put a little screw where as soon as the inertia block is pressed up by the trigger pull, it goes up 
releases the first shear and releases the first, hits the shear and releases the hammer, therefore hitting the screw and automatically engaging the second one, not needing the recoil back and forth. That is one option. On a 680 series, on a Resini, you can't install a screw like that. So we have to lighten, inertia, the iner lighten up the inertia and the engagement right there so it can move freely a little bit better. So not necessarily is a gun problem that you have no second shot, which we hear all the time. There are causes. You gotta remember these guns were built to be shot in a certain way. If you happen to shoot it a different way, it could cause the gun to malfunction or not function properly the way they're built for. So I showed you before on a video, these guns come with a five degree pitch angle. And if I simply bring my shoulder up, there's a gap. I need to engage the gun. You don't have to crawl all the way forward, but a little engagement needs to happen in order for it to sit flush with my body. That would mitigate a lot of these no second shot problems that we see all the time. Also the lighter load thing. If you have to shoot a heavier load on the beginning, try it. If you shot a light load, didn't work, shoot a heavier load and works, you try that first before sending your gun out for warranty service that sometimes is not even warranty. It is within specs of the company that built it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. A little bit of information out there. Thank you.